Bonjour. Bonjour tout le monde. C'est un grand plaisir d'être ici avec vous en tant que votre ministre de la Défense nationale. Hi everybody. It's so great to be in Latvia at a Dage in the summer. <laughs> Last time I was here, it was freezing cold, so it's great to see all of you. And I wanted to first and foremost thank you so much for your service to our country and obviously to NATO serving here in Latvia on NATO's eastern flank. This world is growing increasingly dark and you are at the forefront of everything that Canada stands for and that everything Canada is doing to contribute to the protection and indeed the deterrent posture that NATO stands for. Here on Operation Reassurance, you epitomize Canada's role. This is our largest international operation and I just want to thank you so much. I also want to thank your families because I know that you're far from home and I know that it can be difficult. I am a mom of four kids myself, and I know that this can be hard. So thank you so much for stepping up time and time again for the Canadian Armed Forces and for our country. I am honored to be your Minister of National Defense, but I'm equally honored to know that your families are right there behind you. And please extend my thanks to them as well. Now, I'm really super excited today because our Prime Minister is here in Latvia and we just signed uh, a roadmap that is going to help build and set the path forward to building to brigade level. And so that's full steam ahead, uh, just like we announced last year at Madrid. And without further ado, I'd like to turn over the mic to the Prime Minister of our country, the Honourable Justin Trudeau. Thank you, Anita. Um, I really want to start by saying thank you to all of you as well. Uh, yeah, a number of years ago, each of you made the decision to serve your country, uh, to step up and uh, join the Canadian Armed Forces. You did that for your own reasons, but at the core of it was a desire um, to be there for your fellow citizens, to stand up for the values that make Canada such an incredibly strong country and an example to the world, to have a positive impact, to be able to serve in a way that leads to a better world. And you've stepped up multiple times over the past many years, and that's brought you here to Latvia. At a time where the world is changing fast and not, not in good ways, we're seeing back home many of your fellow CAF members supporting as we're fighting wildfires across the country, whether you were stepping up to help out Fiona last year with it as a record hurricane or even a few years before that when we all learned what an atmospheric river was when it hit BC. Climate change is having a real destabilizing and negative impact with more and more frequent extreme weather events at home. And as challenging as it is at home, the impacts around the world where people are in more precarious economic and geographic situations than we are, that's a new reality that has huge implications for security around the world, which is one of the reasons why Canada is stepping up to build the Centre of Excellence for Climate Security in Montreal. That's one of the announcements we're going to be making tomorrow at, uh, at the NATO summit. Because everywhere in the realm, but particularly in areas where there is particular intersections between geographic and climate realities and conflict, think of the Sahel, uh, think of parts of Southeast Asia. That's going to be a new challenge we all have to deal with. We're also dealing with the hangover of the pandemic that knocked us around as economies, but also knocked us around as individuals. Put a lot of stress on families, on people trying to figure out a way through, add the extra challenges of social media and levels of misinformation and disinformation that 
had friends carried off by it. These are challenges we have that we have to continue to pull together in a world that suddenly understands there's threats out there that we hadn't particularly accounted for. Layer that on top of the rise of authoritarian states, the shifting geopolitics, the aggressive postures of Russia, obviously, which is why we're all here today, also China, Iran, other countries are increasingly aggressive in trying to undermine the values, the freedoms, the rights that underpin all of our democracies. And we see there's a lot of reasons for all of us, those of you who serve, those of you in civilian life back home, to be anxious. But what our kids' futures look like, what kind of world our grandkids will be in. Et le Canada a des solutions, a des réponses à tous ces éléments-là. Et oui, il y a des solutions technologiques, il y a des principes institutionnels qui fonctionnent. Mais la vraie solution que nous offrons au monde, c'est les Canadiens eux-mêmes. C'est nos valeurs, c'est notre approche, notre ambition. The greatest advantage Canada has for all our fabulous geography, our resources, and our alliances around the world, and our trades and our trade deals, and all those different things, the greatest resource Canada has is Canadians themselves. Diverse, ambitious, open-minded, hard-working, always ready to step up. And you and the Canadian Armed Forces are the very best example and embodiment of that. The impact you have, yes, with your abilities, with your training, wherever you go, showing what professionalism is, showing that ability that Canadians have to help, to train, to support, to lead in all sorts of dangerous places around the world is important. But the example you give, people who are driven by values, driven by a commitment to see not just yourselves and your family succeed, but your neighbors succeed as well, writ large geopolitically, is something the world needs more of. That's why Canada is continuing to step up. We've announced uh, that we're moving uh, to brigade level here in, uh, in Latvia with the support of other countries to get there. We'll be doubling the Canadian, up to doubling the Canadian presence in terms of troops here, which I know you're all thinking we're going to run out of room on this base, but that's a good problem to have. The world needs more Canada more than ever. But the world needs more Canadians even more than that. And that's why the work that you are doing day in and day out to demonstrate that there is a better way, that there is strength to stand against the forces of chaos, destabilization and darkness out there. And the commitment you have, as Anita said, far from your families and your loved ones and your communities, having a very real impact in both supporting people of Latvia, of Ukraine, of Eastern Europe, and of demonstrating to Putin that we are able to meet force with force. That democracies are not weak, that democracies are stronger than he could ever imagine. And that will remain as long as we don't take it for granted, as long as we don't take you for granted. And that's uh, why I'm so glad to be here to say thank you to all of you. Vous remerciez pour tout ce que vous faites, uh, but I know I'm the last thing standing between you and lunch, so I'm going to stop speaking now. Thank you very much, everyone, for all your service. Merci tout le monde.